I am Trish Regan, in for Mike Gallagher from the relieffactor.com studios today. Um, it, have you been watching this market? It's been all over the place, right? All kinds of volatility. I, I, I just look at it, however, and I think, gosh, you know, you ain't seen nothing yet. If you actually were to have a Joe Biden presidency, what would that look like on Wall Street? What would that look like for our economy? I mean, you think about the the unfortunate circumstances, tragic really, that we are now in as a country with 40 million jobs being lost and 40% of S&P companies not being able to give any kind of earnings guidance because nobody knows. Nobody knows. It's all dependent on whether or not we can open up again as a nation. So you have a lot of uncertainty, but you want to talk uncertainty. There's a lot of fear about what a Biden administration would look like for our economy and for our markets, you know, remember, I, I think that sometimes people forget policy, right? It's so easy to get hung up on personalities. And, you know, President Trump isn't everybody's cup of tea on the personality front. But you got to think about the policies as well. And when you consider who might be in the cabinet, right, under a Biden presidency, you could have Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez as the new head of commerce. Or better yet, she can come forward with a green energy package as head of the energy department, right? <laughs> or Elizabeth Warren, how about that at Treasury? Elizabeth Warren, who would make, uh, well, a, a lot of financial institutions' lives very, very difficult. You know, you may think, well, that's good. But I'll tell you, it's not good. It's not good for our economy. It's not good if you want to have some freedom there for individuals to be able to borrow and to spend we could have a lot of problems. Meanwhile, you got the Fed right now, Jerome Powell there. I, I have mixed feelings about him and the job he's doing. But I will tell you this. He's, he's kept the spigot open, which long term will, I promise, be a problem because you can't just keep printing money from here to eternity. That's never going to work. Um, somebody at some point has to pay this off which means our kids are going to be saddled with all kinds of debt. You don't even want to think about what they're doing. But nonetheless, he, he's, he's coming through in, in this moment, in the here and now. We've got lots of callers here. The phone is lighting up, which makes me so happy. I want to go to Arnie right now. Arnie, welcome to the program. Good to have you on. Hi. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody at uh, Patriot Radio for doing what you do. It's uh, invaluable. I'm in my mid-60s, and I had a quick uh, idea for the Trump administration, uh, Mike Gallagher in particular, not Mike Gallagher, but uh, uh, I forgot his name. I'm sure Mike Michael Lindell. appreciate the idea. Mike, <laughs> What's your Mike idea? Mike Lindell and others like him ah, regarding okay. this mask insanity. Uh, I wonder what would happen if we all wore dark red masks with black letters that said Trump forever on them. I wonder how much they'd push these masks then. If That's an interesting idea, right? Off. And that might be a new business opportunity yeah. for Mike Lindell. I get it. Yeah, right. you know, it, right. look, I think that the mask thing, you know, it, it's uh, it's good to wear one, right? I, I'm not going to dispute that. Um, but what I do dispute and what I do have a problem with is the idea that somehow it has to be mandated from the federal government. That's the challenge here. Jim, we just right. have a minute. Th uh, I want to go to our caller, Jim, as well, who's on the line. Welcome to the show. It's so, so good to speak with you. So good to hear your voice. I've missed you. Oh, hey, listen, I just you. wanted to say a couple of things. Two mm -hmm. things I've noticed. It seems like the left, while they have no boundaries and they can go, they can't go, you know, anything is in play for them. They, they, nothing's off limits. Nothing's too low. They're like the arch villain in any movie that the good guy has to save the country and save everybody. But the villain is willing to blow everyone up. He's yeah, the one that's and, and, willing and, to And, you know, it's not fair it to vilify, you're right, conservatives as, as they have, um, conservatives who want the best thing for this great nation. Need Jim, it's good to have you here. Thank you so much. We have to take a quick break, but please call in 1-800-655-MIKE. I'll see you here on the other side of this break. 